Hey, I'm Tim Wallen. I'm a South Carolina Concealed Weapons Permit Instructor. I want to share something with you real quick. I've been following the Hudson H9 since they've been talking about it, all the hype from last year, and couldn't wait to get my hands on one of these firearms right here. Um, I've absolutely enjoyed owning this firearm, shooting this firearm. It feels great in your hand. I love this undercut they've got underneath here. I love the texture, the grip. Double stack 9mm, you can really hang on to it. The slide release is right here where you can pop it, drop the slide. Um, just a, a well-made gun, all steel gun here. Uh, I wasn't crazy about the front sight, a lot, a lot of people aren't. But hey, I just took the sight off and put a 165 by 115 or Warren Tactical sight on there. I pushed it out, push it away from the ejection port push it away from the ejection port here come right out I pop this one on uh, really easy to do worked out great that way I want my point of impact to be right where I say the point of aim which is my personal preference but uh, right where the tip the red tip there is on the front sight but well what I want to talk to you about is I was going to shoot last week and I was working with my Lee press here. I was having trouble with the press. It it wasn't rotating, it wasn't functioning, it was hanging up. It's a multi, multi stage press. And my primers kept getting hung up. I kept having to go backwards, forwards. Usually when I do that, I stop and take all the casings out of there and set them to the side so I don't make a mistake and double charge or not get powder in one of the casings here that I'm working on. Well, I did. I kept messing with it. I was in a hurry. I wanted to go shoot. So I ended up not getting any um, not getting any gunpowder in one of the casings here. So what I'm making here, these are black bullets. 147 grain black bullets. And this is the gunpowder I'm putting in them. I'm using Federal Small Pistol Primers. Making my own ammunition here for the Hudson H9. So... I'll put the video up in just a minute so you can see it, but I'm firing the pistol, and I thought it was a misfire. Click. You don't really hear or see anything. Safety officer behind me didn't hear anything. You'll see me spit the round out and go ahead and fire the gun. I actually squibbed it, so one bullet went forward, got stuck in the uh, barrel of the firearm, so when I fired the next one, it blew up. So all my fault, I squibbed the gun. I made the ammo, my fault, look, check out what happened to the barrel here, so I kind of toasted the barrel, it blew apart here, and which it often does happen in a squib load, and uh, we'll put up a couple photos here, but I'll let you see the video, but this thing held up, notice in the video, this is the gun after it, uh, after I squibbed it in my hand. Look, you can't even tell anything's happened to this firearm. It completely held together. It didn't come apart, didn't injure me at all. It's an all steel construction gun, very well made gun. So let's take a quick peek at the video here and watch the video real quick. All right, so you saw it. I did it in a slow motion there so you could see if you go back and look. 
the when it uh, misfires or squib load there, you can just see a little puff of smoke come right out of the front, and that is the round moving forward a little bit. I toss it out. I fire the next round. 100% my fault. I broke my absolute favorite gun. Well, what what am I comparing it to here? Let's take a look here. I got an STI tactical that I was using to shoot with. I picked up the SIG X5. Shooting with that one also. Then I got, come across the Q Match 5, the Walter PPQ. So I picked this one up. All, all these guns are great guns. All these guns have great triggers in them. So when I got my hands on this Hudson H9, to me, my personal preference, I love this firearm. I love shooting it way better than these other three firearms I got right here, okay? So I was shooting it all the time. I got, I was closing in on 2,500 rounds in this firearm. Never had a malfunction. Never had anything go wrong with this gun. Never had a failure to go into battery there. It just has run perfect for me. Just beautiful. And I cleaned it one time when I got it. And you can see it's kind of dirty down inside there. I hadn't cleaned it anymore. I thought, well, I'll just keep running it and see when it starts to malfunction on me. Hey, will it keep running it if I continue to get it dirty? And it has. It continued to run great. Uh, my, my dumb mistake, when that press was messing up, I should have stopped. And I should have took all those casings out of there, got that thing running again before I continued making ammo. But in my haste to get it done, uh, I broke my favorite gun. If you're on the fence about buying one of these, I would say go out and buy one, okay? Because you will enjoy it. It is a very, very good gun, a well-made gun. It shoots great. It, it is just dead on. It is extremely accurate. Firearm feels good in the hand. The uh, This high back strap right back here, so you can get a high purchase on it with the lower bore axis here with the um, with the guide rod being lowered on the front, it just reduces the recoil. It just feels great while you're shooting this gun. You should definitely go out and get one. If you can get your hands on one of these, I say go ahead and buy it. Uh, I'm definitely going to get me another one. I'm hesitating right now on getting one because I understand he's making a lower in aluminum. Not sure if he's going to sell the aluminum lower to people who already have the guns or if you're just going to have to buy a new gun to get the aluminum on it. So I'm going to kind of hold up just a little bit, see where that goes before I replace this gun. But uh, my favorite gun. I loved it. If you're on the fence, go out and buy one. Uh, it actually protected my hand. It didn't blow apart. It contained the blast. Think about what would have happened if I'd have had one of these polymer guns in my hand. Let's take a quick picture of a polymer gun that's actually blown up. So that's pretty bad, right? I'm sure the person that fired that gun got injured, but the uh, Hudson H9 held together and contained the blast and didn't injure me. So, Cy, si, great job on building the gun. Wonderful gun. I love it. I'm so disappointed that I broke it. I cannot believe I did that. But I'm going to have to pick one of these guns to shoot for a little while until I can get me another Hudson and get one running. So remember, always be safe. Be an adult. Secure your firearms from children. Find a way to lock them up. Don't push your responsibility off onto a child.